Blog Talk Radio. You don't understand, see? You don't yeah. get it. People don't understand, I'm man. I'm a free man. I don't mean just out of jail. I am. They just don't free understand. Free at last. Change. Corey Jackson, <laughs> man. More than that you ever. How many more, sure man? My boy, my brother. My brother. My we got to get out of stop, man. We got to get free. To get I have got to get got to put a stop to it. We got to get free, man. Got to get free. We can't keep doing it. My yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Uh, this tale is ill, the yeah. autobiographic is real. real So I share it, from deep in my memory film yeah. 11, 40, 35, then scrapped on his khaki suit yeah. I set across from my brother, my brother. trapped in his cell room uh. Different families around, attempting to heal wounds you know. Conversation by the hour for dark souls to sue But this case is different, it's hella treacherous niggas Cowards my brother trusted that became his false witness Picture this, a small town, locale with southern state And that serves as the framework that outlines the case The murder took place Victim of another race She had status and spoke the governor face to face More fuel for the flames of supremacy and hate That blacks will never escape without God's grace On the court date they brought him in shop but he took the stand Third black boy being charged for death by one hand An argument in another state that wouldn't have a chance But the commonwealth of Kentucky is a southern land That still got problems with brothers from the motherland They judge us not by character but by skin But in this case it was one negro head They said similar to his in the car we should disappear it's Funny how many blacks Got similar hair, we unlucky. unlucky Evidence they use when they argue that trial But never test the DNA and put, put it on foul. foul It's all foul and wow, 50 years they gave him Throughout trial, never showed his involvement with the plan Just hear say from inmates to the main suspect You don't understand, you don't get it I'm a free man, and I don't mean just out of jail I am free at last I get free, man. <clears throat> Be more substantial yeah. evidence, man. Yeah. Uh, testimony from local bums in a segregated city when? is the evidence they used to convince the jury committee How? But really, that's only the second level of injustice mm. The first level was the lie detector test they shuffled uh. The main suspect fell too, he fell too. But the detectives lied to the judge to, to get, get a warrant through For who? You guessed it, my brother's name in the loop The table now set for southern hospitality too And they be cooking black boys by ones and groups Straight out their youth, they stamp them by stretching the truth But don't get it twisted, I hate anything that's corrupt But when the government is guilty, tell, tell me who can you trust Nobody. Now 14 of the 50 years, my brother is done no. And never had nothing to do with, with the, the death, death of the gun. gun But was violently prosecuted by a snake with a tongue No wonder we burn with hatred like the rage of the sun Let me ensure that I am through walking on the wild That's all I've been trying to tell you I have been sick with the socialism. It's the music of Rare Jewels, taken from the CD Rare Jewels Mints Tape. Well, shalom, Israel, and to everyone else, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you and yours, wherever you are on this world's wide web. You are listening to Crime Scene Investigation, the 12 Patriots with the tribe of Levi, brought to you by the Men Empowered Radio Show on the Blog Talk Radio Network at blogtalkradio.com. My name is Brother Malachi of the Men Empowered Organization. It is a Thursday, November the 21st, 2013. If you'd like to join in on our show conversation while we are here live, you can always hit us up at 347-205-9279. Or you can join us right there in the chat room at Blog Talk Radio forward slash Men Empower. Hope you all are ready for another edition of Crime Scene Investigation, the deleted books of the Bible. We are investigating and looking into the testament of the 12 patriarchs, or you can say of the 12 tribes of Israel or the 12 sons of Jacob. Tonight, we will explore the testament of Levi, the testament of Levi concerning the priesthood and arrogance. But before we get started, we are going to have a quick music break and bring you the music of S.O. right here on C. The fossil was mixed 
today. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of SO. And I'll be your host for the next 50 minutes or so. So grab a plate or something and sit down and enjoy the ride. Look, folks told me that no is no. And so you roll, young so and so. Learn to grow, then go where you're told to go. Now I have my head stuck in the scriptures like a man with a mission. Seek a man in the prison mind. Still see some side, stand with a vision. I am dead with the Christian who would hairs and I'll see to try. But they call me a beast and I wonder why. Cause a little level level the feast, another line. It's made clear, it's a defeat. Call on with pride. I got a state so they like metal care. I wanna settle here. No mad, no pad, bound with fear. Run the Lord, but the sword, white flag, disappeared. Fam, listen here, this is Solus Christoph. We all sent trick talk. Whooped in it, this here is authentic. Of course, the Lord's in it. Both in the cross of a thought, get lost in it. Y'all get it? There I go, get a so called deep. If not, you only grow to be so called sheep. Not real, not still, with the spirit dog, hear it. Luke Woman gets spilled out. And less than one minute, we know no time limits. Get him put by with it, but stand on the Lord's strength. And I mean in no sense, spirit that the Lord sent. He's the one who works in the kid. Call knows that. He is the bridge. Sanctifies us in truth His work is the proof That was saved Once the praise and enslaved They go for the grace immersed In the faith emerged Out of the flames and purged I would say you hurt But I praise him first Throw out the fame and curse out Fight the good fight Means more than one bout Despite the looks I will maintain When glory's obtained Them things gonna change There's no doubt And no sprouts And lilies in the field Means that God wants to build I mean that Yeah, believe that Think before you react Suffering for buffering to get you more love with him rain off to the pain Glory off to the gory death I mean there's more to the story left We abhor any phony steps But to live is Christ and to die is gain What thought we rest? I say we Yeah I mean true say and others A band of ringers Who were changing brothers Serene in the team In light we're covered Refuse to be cool Invert it covers None of that The Christ crucified is the ammo Soldiers on a battlefield Boots with the camo Elector in a lancer Go out like a candle, lighting up the land for the lamb, yo. Huh. The truth is in the scriptures, so we preach it. Do loads of teachers, the world needs Jesus. I'm praying that the scene may see what's needed. Don't live in pipe dreams with obscene not features. But rather than when they grip the mic, the people may see the light and meet the Christ and grow. That's what's needed. Forget all pretense. We gotta do a step back sequence. Go back to the text and read it. Now, doesn't that sound elementary? Faithfulness, add that to the recipe This pericope is fan where Paul told Timothy Watch your life and doctrine literally And the same is still applied today To read another wag is ill-advised Don't this sound soliloquizing down I feel aside Pay for the crowd and their demise Don't pray for the pounds of enterprise Pray to be sound and that I Face to the ground and fortify This faith to be found Only in the son of man Ain't no other fam Two holes in the sun's hands And there ain't no loophole to the sun Dad, just him who stoop low and hung man But a rose so that all can see Talk to me on and off the beat I say the same thing, maintain keeping the gospel The main thing they say what we've got to Is make change, I see them hostels But I see the breath up in your nostrils It keeps your heart beating, he ain't got to huh. That God you don't believe in, has got you That common grace reads your poker face So know your fate, you don't wanna end up in a place Where there's no escape, please burn and I remain certain that the oldest thing to show the youngers how to grow and hold the faith Pretty determined they are swerving and will go astray If we don't grab them by their coattails Disciple and those frail Climbing any height Cause no scale all mount is gonna keep us from the fountain We counting up the laws Picking crosses and shouting We fighting for the boss How a boss is about it No, Ricky, he's pimpy Who I'm talking about is so Way bigger of though It figures he's God plus tougher than Nimrod What true God, only one that's in charge Others they idols Vital you see dog and don't be duped Peel through the peeps in the pew The lions in the lions den Those who wanna lie up with the Leviathan Not know what time's up But flower trends stuck in iron them And them is men And never wear they eye in him Only he can put out the heat like fire man Only he can clean out the grease for your frying pan You a dirty young dirty and your fly is trends You crease and he can iron men Whoa, and so they more with it the martyrs With the lions in the fire But the life they would acquire Was something so they gave up their life and whole entire fiend for the Christ It seems that what I write is a fiend and not tight But no, it's reality based So be faith, but now they're so adjacent Seeing the king's face, that's why I'm so elated Pride to celebrate it, pride to ever facing it I was faithless and wasting it But then the king did save, now my faith in him I ain't chasing wind, since I made you win Those theological 
for truths, I'm embracing them Now my face ain't twice, no more faith and skin So I place this mic with no tasteless whim I won't waste this life if I'm chasing him and from the UK is the music of S.O. from the CD, My Life. All right, Five Solar Mitch Tape. All right, I'm fired up now. I'm ready to go. If I had the mic on, you would have heard a lot of screaming every time I get that beat in me. Woo! Man, I'm ready to jump. Because all the information I am about to share with you, the absolute knowledge and truth. And I just want to give kudos to my brother that I no longer see anymore. We just kind of got separated. want to say hello to the prophet, the prophet who thought of the I thought of the name of our show, and we carried it on here, right here at the Men in Power organization. Prophet Donnie Lewis, how you doing out there? If you ever so listen to this broadcast, want to just say kudos to you. Hope everything is all well with you and your family. So we are going to go ahead and get into the testament of Levi. Levi in the house, and you all know that the descendants of Levi are the tribe of Levi are the children who are the Haitians on the island of Haiti. They share a common uh, they share a common border with their other brother Simeon, who are the Dominican the, the Dominicans in the Dominican Republic. Why are you? kind of tie tongue on that I don't know but you all I hope we can get through with 19 chapters tonight but halfway through we are going to take another music break for show and we are going to get through this so you all bear with me and I'm in the studios by myself so I don't have anybody controlling the panels checking the uh, chat room every now and then or checking who's on the phones and pressing one. So uh, if I got my head buried in these scriptures, you know how it is. But uh, for those of you all who are on the phone, and uh, if you hear my mic go out, and if you listen to us via phone, please, please, please press one just to let me know because that's like a flashpoint that'll let me know it'll pull up I can get a hundred lines and so I've got people listening to me already uh, but if you're in the chat room I don't see you in the chat room yet but you're probably listening to on your computer but I will stick my head up every now and then to check the chat room as well as to check the phone lines to see if anyone is pressing one or putting any kind of question or comment in the chat room if you hear my mic go out, just let me know, Brother Malachi, uh, we can't hear you, so just let me know so I can do something, go to another phone line or something. All right, just want to let you know, anytime uh, you want to call us at our office here, the number to call is area code 504-484-9388. The number to call when we are not on the comment, the number to call is 504-484-9388 or 601-297-2927. And our email address is men, empowered to prosper at yahoo.com. And yes, you can follow along with us at men empowered at Twitter. Dot com. Yes, yes, we do the Twitter thing. We don't personally per se uh, men empowered doing the Facebook, but I'm personally downloading and doing things on Facebook to let you know. Also, you can reach us right here at Block Talk Radio. So just want to let you know that we are getting ready to uh, go into Levi, going to Levi and getting ready. I hope everything is good. I believe so it is. Also, just want to remind you, we are here Monday through Thursday at 9, excuse me, at, yeah, at 9 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Uh, West Coast Time, 
and we are also here uh, at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. So uh, if you uh, want to listen to us via phone, if you're on the go and not at your computer, you can always, I mean always, just let us know uh, what you think uh, on this, and we will uh, also just go ahead and just uh, let you know what's going on. But I think we've got a little while, maybe a week or two, left to uh, go on our um, the testaments of the, the, the testaments of um, yeah the testaments of the patriots. So let's go and get into it because we got a long way to do, a long way to go. The testament of Levi concerning the priesthood and the arrogance. The copy of the words of Levi, what things he appointed to his sons, according to all that they should do, and what things should befall them until the day of judgment. He was in sound health when he called them to him, for it had been shown to him that he should die. And when they were gathered together, be said to them. Paragraph 2. Levi was conceived in Haran and born, born there, and after that I came with my father to Shechem, and I was young, about twenty years of age, when, when with Simon I wrought the vengeance of Haran for our sister Diana. You see why the two are together on the same island. Wow, what revelation we have. Now, why would they want to delete this type of information? Moving on. And when we were feeding our flocks in Abamur, a spirit of understanding of the Most High came upon me. And I saw all men corrupting their way, and that unrighteousness had built to itself walls, and iniquity sat up on towers. And I grieved for the race of men, and I prayed to the Most High that I might be saved. Then there fell upon me a sleep, and I beheld a high mountain. This is the mountain of Aspris, and in Abel Mua, the, and behold, the heavens were open, and an angel of the Most High said to me, Levi, enter, and I entered from the first heaven into the second, and I saw their water hanging between the one and the other. When we get into the book of Enoch, you will understand more about this first, second, and third heaven. Reading on, and I saw a third heaven far brighter than those two. There was in, was, for there was in it a height without bounds. And I said to the angel, Wherefore is this? And the angel said to me, Marvel not at these, for thou shalt see four other heavens brighter than these. You see this? Four other heavens brighter than these, and without comparison. When thou shalt have ascended thither, because thou shalt stand near the Most High and shall be his minister, and shall declare his mysteries to men, and shall proclaim concerning him who shall redeem Israel. And by thee and Judah shall the Most High appear among men, saving in them every race of men, and of the portion of the Most High shall be thy life, and he shall be thy field and vineyard, Fruits, gold, and silver. Paragraph 3 of Levi. Hear then concerning the seven heavens. The lowest is the the lowest is for this cause more gloomy, in that it is near all the iniquities of men. The second had fire, snow, ice, ready for the day of the ordinance of the Most High in the righteous judgment of the Most High God. In it 
are all the spirits of the, the retributions retribu of vengeance of the wicked. In the third are the hosts of the armies which are ordained for the day of judgment to work vengeance on the spirits of decent and of Belial. We've got to investigate the spirit of Belial. That's B-E-L-I-A-R. And the heavens up are holy, for in the highest of all dwelt dwelleth the great glory in the holy of holies, far above all holiness. In the heaven next to it are the angels of the presence of the Most High, who minister and make properly propitiation, ooh, I'm pronouncing stuff, blah, too many words, to the Most High for all the ignorance of the righteous. And they offer to the Most High a reasonable, sweet-smelling savor and the bloodless offering. And in the heaven below this are the angels who bear the answers to the angels of the presence of the Most High. And in the heaven next to this are thrones, dominions, in which hymns are ever offered to the Most High. Therefore, whenever the Most High looketh upon us, all of us are shaken. Yea, the heavens and the earth and the abyss are shaken at the presence of His Majesty. But the sons of men, regarding not these things, sin and provoke the Most High. Now, therefore, know the most high will execute judgment upon the sons of men because when the rocks are rent and the sun quenched and the waters dried up and the fire trembling and all creation troubled and the invisible spirits melting away and the grave fall in the suffering of the most high men unbelievably will abide in their iniquity Therefore, with punishment shall they be judged. Therefore, the Most High hath heard thy prayer to separate thee from iniquity, and that thou, shall, that thou shouldest become to him a son and a servant and a minister of his, of his presence. A shining light of knowledge shall thou shine in Jacob. And as the sun shall thou be to all the seed of Israel. And a blessing shall be given to thee and to all thy seed unto visit all the heathen in the tender mercies of his son, even forever. Nevertheless, the sun shall lay hands upon him to crucify him. And therefore have counsel and understanding been given thee, that thou mightest instruct thy sons concerning him, because he that blesseth him shall be blessed, but they that curse him shall perish. We are now entering paragraph 5. Like I said, we've got 19 paragraphs in all that we're reaching. And the angel opened to me the gates of heaven and I saw the holy temple and the most high up on a throne of glory and he said to me Levi I have given thee the blessings of the priesthood up until that I shall come and soldier in the midst of Israel then the angel brought me to the earth and gave me a shield and a sword and said work vengeance on Shechem because of Diana and I will be with thee because the Most High has sent me and I destroyed at that time the sons of Hermon now you all remember we discussed this in uh, Jash in the book of Jash as it is written in the heavenly tablets and I said to him I pray thee, O Lord, tell me 
thy name, that I may call upon thee in a day of tribulation. And he said, I am the angel who interceded for the race of Israel, that he might smite them not utterly, because every evil spirit attacked it. After these things, I was at, I was it were awakened, and blessed the Most High and the angel that interceded for the race of Israel and for all the righteous. Paragraph 6. And when I came to my father, I found a blazing shield, wherefore also the name of the mountain is Aspis, which is near Jebel, on the right side of Abelia. And I kept these words in my heart. I took counsel with my father and with Reuben, my brother, that he should bid the sons of Hermon that they should be circumcised. For I was jealous because of the abomination which they had wrought in Israel. I slew Shechem at the first, and Simeon slew Hermon. And after this our brethren came and smote the city with the edge of the sword. And our father heard it and was wroth, and he was grieved in that they had received the circumcision, and after that had been put to death. And in his blessing he dealt otherwise with us, for we sinned because we had done this thing for for we had done this thing against his will, and he was sick upon that day. But I knew that the sentence of the Most High was for evil upon Shechem. For they sought to do to Sarah as they did to Diana, our sister. And the Most High hindered them. And so they prosecuted, excuse me, they persecuted Abraham, our father, when he was a stranger. And they harassed his flock when they were multiplied upon him. And Jabela, his servant, born in, the, born in his house, they shamefully handled. And thus, did, and thus they did to all strangers, talking, taking away their wives by force. And the men themselves driving into exile, but the wrath of the Most High came suddenly upon them to the uttermost. Paragraph 7. And I will say it to my father, Be not angry, sir, because by thee will the Most High bring to naught the Canaanites, and will give their land to thee, and to thy seed after thee. For from this day forward shall Shechem be called a city of them that are without understanding. For as a man mocketh at a fool, so did we mock cause they wrought folly in Israel to defile our sister. And we took our sister from this and departed and came to Bethel. Paragraph 8. There's that word again, Bethel. Now, down the road, I'll probably share something with you about that because I've gotten some revelation from studying with GOCC concerning that word, that word Bethel. It is also named after a lot of uh, churches that are around here, like Mount Bethel, uh, Bethel Cathedral, et cetera, et cetera, and we'll go on into that at another time. But underline that word Bethel, and we'll come back to it down the road. Paragraph 8, and there I saw a thing again, even as the former after we had passed seven, 70 days. And I, and I saw seven men in white remnants saying to me, Arise, put on the robe of the priesthood, and the crown of righteousness, and the breastplate of understanding, and the garment of truth, and the the dildum 
the diadem of faith and the Torah of miracles and the ephod of prophecy and each one of them bearing each of these things put them on me and said from henceforth become a priest of the most high thou and thy seed forever and the first and the first anointed me with holy oil and gave to me the rod of judgment the second washed me with pure water and fed me with bread and wine the most holy thing, holy and glorious robe. The third clothed me with linen vestments, like to an ephod. The fourth put round me a girded like up to purple. The fifth gave to me a branch of rich olive. The sixth placed a crown on my head. The seventh placed on my head a diadem of priesthood and filled my hands with incense, so that I served as a priest to the Most High. And they said to me, Levi, thy seed shall be divided into three branches, for a sign of the glory of the Most High, who is to come. The first shall he be that had been faithful. No portion shall be greater than his. The second shall be in the priesthood. The third, a new name shall be called over him, cause he shall arise as king from Judah and shall establish a new priesthood after the fashion of the Gentiles to all the Gentiles. And his appearing shall be unutterable, unutterably as of an exalted prophet of the seed of Abraham our father. Every desirable thing in Israel shall be for thee and for thy seed, and everything fair, everything fair to look upon shall ye eat, and the table of the Most High shall thy seed appropriation. Oh, if I'm pronouncing words wrong, I apologize. And some of them taken be high priests and judges and scribes, for by their mouth shall the, shall the holy place be guarded. And when I awoke, understood that this thing was like unto the former, and I hid this also in my heart, and told it not to any man upon the earth. Paragraph 9, and after the two days, I and Judah went up to Isaac after our father, and the father of my father blessed me according to all the words of the visions which I had seen, and he would not come with us to Bethel. And when we came to Bethel, my father Jacob saw in a vision concerning me that I should be to them for a priest unto the Most High. And he rose up early in the morning and paid tithes of all to the Most High through me. And we came to Hebron to dwell there. And Isaac called me continually to put me in remembrance of the law of the Most High, even as the angel of the Most High showed to me. And he taught me the law of the priesthood of sacrifice, whole burnt offerings, first fruits, free will offerings, thank offerings. And each day he was inst instructing me, and he was, and he was, bus for me before the Most High. And he said to me, "Take heed, my child, of the spirit of fornication." For this shall continue and shall be and shall by thy seed pollute the holy thing. Take therefore to thyself while yet thou art young, a wife not having blemish nor yet polluted, nor of the race of the Philistines or Gentiles, 
and before entering into the holy place, bathe. And when thou offset the sacrifice, wash, finish it, the sacrifice, finish, finish the sacrifice, wash of twelve trees, even having leaves. Offer up the fruits to the Most High, as also Abraham taught me, and of every clean beast and the clean bird offer a sacrifice to the Most High, and of every firstling and of wine offering first fruit and every sacrifice thou shalt salt with salt. Now this kind of reminds me he's having instructions because he is part of the priesthood. Now where in the world did the Roman Catholic Church get the idea that a priest should not marry a wife? And I'll wait for somebody to give me the understanding. That's right, because it's not in Scripture that a man should be alone. That is a pagan ritual, and we're going to look at those those pagan rituals that the Roman Catholic Church incorporated along with the paragraph ten. We'll take a we'll take a music break right after paragraph ten. Now, therefore, observe whatsoever I command you, children, for whatsoever thing I have heard from my fathers. I have made known to you. I am clear from all your ungodliness and transgressions, which ye will do in the end of the age against the Savior of the world, acting ungodly, deceiving Israel, and raising up against it great evils from the Most High, and ye will deal lawlessly with Israel, so that Jerusalem shall not endure your wickedness. But the veil of the tre- the tremble shall of the temple shall be rent, so as not to cover your shame, and ye shall be scattered as captives among the heathen. All right. This is getting close to Deuteronomy 28 here, this prophecy, and shall be for a reproach, for a curse, and for a trampling underfoot. For the house which the Most High shall cease shall be called Jerusalem, as is contained in the book of Enoch, the righteous. Now, if this is mentioning the book of Enoch, why is it that the so-called authorities decided to take this out of print during back then? Why is it that Enoch is mentioned in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament? They want to get rid of the book of Enoch. Okay, that is the end of chapter paragraph 10. Let's take a music break, and we will be right back in about seven clicks, or I should say about seven minutes. Here's Lionel Jones from the Papa Jones CD on the waterfront.
gospel jazz artist Lionel Jones, taken from the CD Papa Jones CD, On the Waterfront. We are back right here at Crime Scene Investigation, and we're looking into the lost books, and we want to know why they deleted the lost the so-called lost books. If you got a comment or a question, you can always reach us while we are here live at 347-205-9279. Now, it looks like I've got close to about 25 callers who are listening via phone. Now, surely someone has a question or an answer. And I know because of my speech is not all that good. I know, I know, I pronouncing, I know I'm mispronouncing a lot of these words. Uh haven't hardly seen too many of them, but I'm doing the very best I can. But we are looking at Levi. We're looking at the tribe of Levi who has the priesthood. And their father, Levi, is giving his children instructions on the priesthood and arrogancy. So we're on paragraph 11 with just a few more minutes left. I think we're going to have enough time to finish that if I cannot elaborate too much. But, you know, we'll probably go into overtime because we're only scheduled for one hour. I know, I know what you're saying. Brother, come on with it. All right. Paragraph 11, therefore, when I took a wife, I was 28 years old, and her name was Melcha. Now, you see this, you priests in the Roman Catholic doctrine, you see that he took a wife. Let me move on because I'm elaborating again. And she conceived and bare a son. And she called his name Gershom, for we were sojourn in our land, for Gershom is inter interpreted soldier. And I saw concerning him that he would not the first rank. And Kohath was born in my 35th year toward the east. And I saw in a vision that he was standing on high in the midst of all the congregation. Therefore, I called his name Kohat, which means beginning of majesty and instructions. And thirdly, she bare to me Murari in the 40th year of my life. And since his mother bare him with difficulty, she called him Merari, which meaneth my bitterness because he also died, and Joshua was born in my 64th year in Egypt. For I was renowned then in the midst of my brethren. Paragraph 12. And Gershom took a wife, and she bare to him Lomnia and Selmia, and the sons of Kohat, Ambra, Is Isra, Chebro, and Ozel, and the sons of Morel, Mola, and Horm Hormasi, and in the 94th year, Am Ambrim took Josephed, my daughter, to him to wife, for they were born in one day, he and my daughter, eight years old, was I when I went into the land of Canaan, and eighteen years were eighteen years when I slew Shechem, and in and at nineteen years I became priest, and at twenty eight years I took a wife, and at forty years I went into Egypt. And behold, ye are my children, my children even of a third generation. In my hundred and eighteenth year, Joseph died. Paragraph 13. And now, my children, I command you that ye fear our Lord, 
with your whole heart and walk in simplicity according to all and according to all his law. And do ye also teach your children learning that they may have understanding in all their life, reading unceasingly the law of the Most High. For everyone who shall know the law of the Most High shall be honored, and shall not be a stranger wheresoever he goeth. Yea, many friends shall, be, shall he gain more than his forefathers, and many men shall desire to serve him and to hear the law from his mouth. Work righteousness, my children, upon the earth, that ye may find treasure in the heavens, and sow good things in your souls, that ye may find them in your life. For if you sow evil things, ye shall reap all trouble and affliction. Get wisdom in the fear of the Most High, with diligence, for through there shall be a leading into captivity, and cities be destroyed, and hands and gold and silver and every possession shall perish. The wisdom of the wise, the wise none, can take away, save the bitterness of ungodliness and the palsy of sin. For every among his for even among his enemies shall it be to him glorious, and it, and in a strange country a home, and in the midst of foes shall it be found a friend. If a man teach those things and do them, he shall be enthroned with kings, as was also Joseph our brother. Fourteen paragraph. Now, my children, I have learnt from the writings of Enoch. Now, Levi studied the book of Enoch. So why are we not studying the book of Enoch? Don't throw that stone at me now. I know you're mad because you don't have that. I know you're still wrapped up in the church, and they say those, those books were not inspired. Don't throw no stone. Do not throw any stones at me. I know, I know, you don't have the book of Enoch in front of you. But you know what? It's available now. So he that have ears, let him hear. Moving right along. And now, my children, I have learnt from the writings of Enoch that at the last ye will deal ungodly, laying your hands upon the Most High in all malice, and your brethren shall be ashamed because of you. And to all the Gentiles shall it become a mocking, for our father Israel shall be pure from the ungodliness of the chief priests, who shall lay their hands upon the Savior of the world. Pure is the heaven above the earth, and ye are the lights of heaven as the sun and the moon. What shall all the Gentiles do if ye be darkened in ungodliness, so shall ye bring a curse upon our race, for whom came the light of the world, which was given among you for the lightening up of every man. Him will ye desire to slay, teaching commandments contrary to the ordinances of the Most High. Offering of the Most High will ye rob, and from his portion will ye steal. And before ye sacrifice to the Most High, ye will take the choice parts in despitefulness, eating them with harlots amid excessive. Will ye teach the commandments of the Most High? The women that have husbands will ye pollute, and the virgins of Jerusalem will ye defile. And with harlots and adulterers will ye be joined. The daughters of the Gentiles will ye take for wives, purifying them with an unlawful purification. And your union shall be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah in ungodliness. And ye will be puffed up because of the priesthood 
lifting yourself up against men. And not only so, but being puffed up also against the commands of the Most High. Ye, shall, ye will scoff at the holy things, mocking in despitefulness. Paragraph 15. Therefore, the temple which the Most High shall choose shall be desolate in uncleanness, and ye shall be captives throughout all nations, and ye shall be an abomination among them, and ye shall receive reproach and everlasting shame from the righteous judgment of the Most High. And all who see you shall flee from you, and were it not for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our father, not one from my seed should be left upon the earth. Now, I just got to pause right there because as I was reading this, I thought about the things that are going on in Haiti as we speak. What I mean by this, because of the curses, because the children of Israel disobeyed the Most High, looking at, the, looking at our, our forefathers, Passing down to generation, we didn't keep these commandments, therefore the curses came upon us. But because he heard our cries, he's bringing us back and giving us this particular knowledge that we had. And I'm starting the things that are going on in Haiti, and I look at all the voodoo that is going on there, as even as well as in the Dominican Republic with the tribe of Simeon. And we're going to get with... Uh, did we do Simeon already? I think, yeah, I think we did do Simeon. And that, and that talked about that particular voodoo a little bit uh, because both of them share that particular one island. Okay, going to uh, paragraph 16, we're moving right along and we're close to the end and we are moving pretty much in the overtime right now. All right. And now I have learnt in the book of in the book of Enoch that for seventy weeks will ye go astray and will profane the priesthood and pollute the sacrifices and corrupt the most high's law and set in notch the words of the prophets. In preserving this ye will persecute righteous men and hate the godly. The words of the faithful will be ye ab abhorred, and the man who reneweth the law in the power of the Most High will ye call a deceiver. At last, as ye suppose, ye will slay him, not understanding his resurrection, resurrection wickedly taking upon your own heads the innocent blood. Because of him shall your holy place be desolate, polluted, even to the ground, and ye shall have no place that is clean. But ye shall be among the Gentiles a curse and a dispensation until he shall again look upon you in pity, shall take you to himself through faith and water. Looks like about the baptism concerning the water. Paragraph 17, and because ye heard concerning the 70 weeks, hear also concerning the priesthood. For in each jubilee there shall be a priesthood. In the first jubilee, the first who is anointed into the priesthood shall be great and shall speak to the Most High as to a father, and his priesthood shall be filled with the fear of the Lord. And in the day of his gladness shall he arise for the salvation of the world. In the second jubilee, he that is anointed shall be conceived in the sorrow of beloved ones, and his priesthood shall be honored and shall be glorified among all. And the third priest shall be held fast in sorrow, and the fourth shall be in grief, because unrighteousness shall be laid upon him exceedingly, and all Israel shall hate each one his neighbor. 
the fifth shall be held fast in darkness. Likewise also the sixth and the seventh. And in the seventh, in the seventh, the seventh, there shall be such pollution as I am not able to express before the Most High and men, for they shall know it who do these things. That their hand and their land, their substance shall be destroyed. And in the fifth week, they shall return into their desolate country and shall renew the house of the Most High. And in the seventh week shall come the priests, the worshipers of idols, contentions, lovers of money, proud, lawlessness, lasciviousness, abusers of children and beasts. Paragraph 18. And after their punishment shall have come from the Most High, then will the Most High raise up to the priesthood a new priest, to whom all the words of the Most High shall be revealed. And he shall execute a judgment of truth upon the earth in the fullness of days, and his star shall arise in heaven as a king shedding forth the light of knowledge in the sunshine of day. And he shall be magnified in the world until his ascension. He shall shine forth as the sun in the earth, and shall drive away all darkness from the world under heaven. And there shall be peace. The heavens shall rejoice in his days, and the earth shall be glad. And the clouds shall be joyful, and the knowledge of the Lord shall be poured forth upon the earth as the water of seas. And the angels of the glory of the presence of the Lord shall be glad in him. The heavens shall be opened, and from the temple of glory shall the sanctification come upon him with the Father's voice as from Abraham the father of Isaac, and the glory of the Most High shall, utter, shall, utterly over, shall utter over him. And the spirit of understanding and of sanctification shall rest upon him in the water. He shall give the majesty of the Most High to his sons in truth forevermore, and there shall none succeed him for all generations, even forever. And in his priesthood shall all sin come in and in, and the lawless shall rest from evil, and the just shall rest in him, and he shall open the gates of paradise and shall remove the threatening sword against Adam, and he shall give to his saints to eat from the tree of life, and the spirit of holiness shall be on, be on them, and Belial, that's B E L I A R, Belial, shall be bound by him, and he shall give power. Excuse me, and he shall give power to his children to tread upon the evil spirits, and the Lord shall rejoice in his children. And the Lord shall be well pleased in his beloved forever. Then shall Abraham and Isaac and Jacob joyful, and I will be glad. And all the saints shall put on gladness. Paragraph 19. And now, my children, we have heard all. Choose, therefore, for yourself either the darkness or the light, either the law of the Most High or the works of Belial. And we answered our father, saying, Before the Most High will we walk according to his law. And our father said, The Lord is witness, and his angels are witnessing, are witnesses. And I am witness, and ye are witnesses concerning the word of your mouth. And we shall, and we said, we are witnesses, and thus Levi ceased giving charge to his son, and he stretched out his feet and was gathered to his father, fathers. 
after he had lived 137 years. And they laid him in a coffin, and afterward they buried him in Hebron by the side of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. This concludes the testament of Levi, and on Monday we will go into the testament of Judah concerning fortitude and love of money and fornication. I hope you enjoyed the lesson tonight. I know I was blessed by the reading of the word of the Most High. I hope you all will be able to join with me again Monday through Thursday, Crime Scene Investigation, The Twelve Patriots, The Deleted Books of the Bible. I'm Brother Malachi. Until next time, we wish you peace and revelation be upon you. So until next time, this is Brother Malachi saying so long right here from the studio of the Men Empowered Organization. I'm going to leave you with Joel McRae, lovely, from the CD song for you. Shalom. Thank you.